the the specimen image was shot um, for those people that are going to go to my website, which I hope they do. Um, and you go to Le Poncher series. Uh, there's an image there called Signs. And it's from the same shoot, in fact. Um, the, the branches that I have on my back, in this picture, it resembles the bear, bear wings, mm. whereas the signs, uh, it's more of a, of a crucifix. And, and anyway, um, and basically this is the fact that it's supposed to look like bare bones, that I've been stripped of my wings and um, trying to, to regain um, some kind of, of, of freedom, even, even though they are stripped. So that that basically is what that's about, and and what I love about this image, even though it's shot digitally, I, I was able to successfully play with the depth of field in in Photoshop and with using textures and other uh, other things to to create that. Um, to me, I, I I love this image, and I printed this on rice paper, and oh, I wow. think it really. <laughs> Yeah, and I really think it lends itself beautifully to that. It, wow. it has a very delicate feel feel to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So you printed it on rice paper. Is this one mounted on something, or is this one framed? Or no, not not currently. Uh, it's up for sale if anybody's interested. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's. It, I actually printed it as a test on the on the rice paper because I just really felt that it was perfect for that, and and it, and it was. Uh, it, you can find rice paper uh, easily with, uh, in Hanamil. It was Hanamil's paper. Amazing. So uh, I, when you were just chatting there, I went and found your chrysalis photo. Ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, so, so, so again, the same, so same concept with chrysalis, uh, which is, uh, you know, the chrysalis of a butterfly, the, the cocoon the coming out of your cocoon. This was, again, at the same time as uh, the weight loss. Um, I lost over a hundred pounds at the time. Congratulations, by the uh, way. Oh, thank you, but I gained some crazy. back since being here. What happened? <laughs> thanks, <This is> life. <laughs> thanks to the French cuisine. <clears throat> no, it's not only that, but um, but yes, at the time I lost over a hundred pounds, and um, and I felt it's strange. I didn't feel wonderful about myself because um, we didn't get to talk about me as a model. Um, I could explain that if you want after, sure, but, yeah. um, but um, when you lose that much weight and you're not 16 years old, you, you don't have the body. Um, your body is not firm, especially if you, if you were overweight your whole life, if you are right. like, there are women who get pregnant, they're thin already, they get pregnant after they have the baby, usually their body bounces back. But because I was always overweight, when I lost the weight, my body didn't bounce back. So I had a uh, skin that was, um, you know, hanging and it, it wasn't beautiful. Um, however, the, the, what was, I still felt like there was something happening to me that I was feeling a little more positive with myself and a little mm. more energy and a lot more, there was something happening. So I, in this shot, I felt like, well, this is me finally coming out of my cocoon to become a butterfly. Okay. And this was shot on the Holga, you said? Yes, this was shot with the Holga. And, and so, so the, the reason why this one and specimen went together is because they were both, um, at the, the major transformation times. So this was happening uh, as I lost all the weight. Specimen happened when I first moved here to France and I was transforming again. Uh, here's, a, here's a new life for me. Here's a, a lot of uncertainty. I was already pretty raw from a divorce, uh, which was why I was stripped down uh, between the divorce and, and some things with my mother that had happened. So I was, by the time I got here, to France, uh, I was kind of worn down because I had so much I had to fight through to get here. So it, it was kind of the two major transformation points of my life. So that's why they kind of go together, those two images. Uh -huh.